Hello, I'm Paul Briggs from Pandapix, where we help you rescue your memories from the box. Some of you have hundreds or perhaps thousands of negatives, and you only want to convert your favorites into high-quality images. But how do you find those favorite images out of all those negatives? We're going to show you how to convert this into this. So the first thing that you're going to need is a light box. And I have found that a port trace 10 inch by 12 inch two bulb light box is a great light box for doing this kind of work. This light box is available from Adorama for $50. I'm going to turn it on and you can see that it presents a nice diffused light for doing this kind of work. So the next thing you're going to need are archival sheets and you can also get archival sheets from Adorama at a reasonable price. Uh, the print file uh, archival sheets are pretty handy and, and they have varying amounts that you, of negatives that you can hold in their archival sheets. Now you'll find when you lay the archival sheets onto the light box that the negatives don't stay flat. If you go to your local glass store and have them cut a piece of glass, be sure to have them around the edges, you will be able to hold your negatives flat onto the light box in order to take a nice digital image. Using a digital camera gives you better results than a smartphone when taking these pictures. I have a Canon PowerShot camera. You can use a DSLR camera and you just position yourself over the archival sheet, get it just in the boundaries and focus, hold it and take your picture. Now comes the fun part, to convert your digital images to positives. We're going to be using a program called ViewScan, which is normally used to control scanners. It was developed by Ed Hamrick and is available for $40. We're going to navigate to the file selection and open up to where we have our camera JPEG file stored. In this case, the default selection is TIFF and we're going to want to change it to JPEG since that's how you took your picture. Go ahead and select one of your contact sheets. Now I've already set the crop and color and output settings to what I want and ViewScan remembers that. You want to change the batch setting from auto to off and you want to change the media setting from image to color negative. Then you'll select preview and it actually pulls in the file and it converts it from a negative to a positive. And since I've already cropped it the way I wanted, then it will give the proper boundary and it looks like a fairly decent positive. And I'm going to go ahead and scan it and it will store the file in the designated location that I've set in the output folder. Now after it saves the file, I can select another one using the file selection and I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to select another file and select open and, and then preview to actually pull the file in. And if you like what you see and you don't need to change the crop settings, you can go ahead and select scan and it will save it to the designated location. Now You can see that this process will allow you to very quickly go through those digital contact sheet negatives that you took with your camera and process them into positives so that you can go through your hundreds or thousands of negatives. Once you've obtained the equipment and software, making digital contact sheets is a snap. And if you don't want to do this yourself, Pandapix will be glad to do this for you. Check out our website at pandapixky.com. Thanks for watching.